Good morning and salamat pagi from East Bali. Today is a very special video because as you can see, I'm completely dressed in Balinese traditional style. Let me explain you why. Today we are at Pura Besaki, which is known as the mothership of all temples in Bali. Apparently it is the biggest temple in Bali and I've heard so much about it, so I thought it would be worth to take a look myself. And because it is still Galungan, which is one of the most important holidays here in Bali, I chose to completely dress myself up as a Balinese, thanks so much to my friends Carly and Milan, known as Drifters and Lovers. They lent me their outfit and I'm super happy for this. I'm currently waiting for my friends to join me and then we're gonna enter the temple. If you don't have long clothes with you or you don't have a sarong with you, they actually rent it out here at the entrance. So if you are thinking about visiting this temple, you don't have to worry about it. You can just easily rent a sarong here and a t-shirt with long sleeves if you want to. I just paid. The entrance is 60,000 rupiah and for Balinese it's free, which is obviously, that makes sense. But that's still quite an okay price and I think it's like also a contribution to take care of the temple. So that's actually a good thing. It's actually funny because I have my sarong a size XL <laughs> and it's still too small because you obviously you cannot show your knees. My knees are out all the time, so. <laughs> I'm really trying to pull it down, but it's it's quite difficult. Let me give you a quick tour of my outfit because I didn't know how this was called, so I really want to teach you guys. My top, as you can see, it's white. I'm wearing something white underneath as well. And this is called kabaya. So the top is called kabaya. Then the sarong looks like this. And the sarong is called kamban, if I pronounce it right. I love the color, looks really nice. And then this thing, if you can see it, this is called slendang. So this is how it looks like. I'll give you a full outfit tour later on as well. But I actually love the colors. If I understand it correctly, yesterday was the big ceremony Galungan. And today the people that are here right now weren't here yesterday. So as you can see, it's not too crowded. There are some people. I actually like it that it's not too busy. So we're gonna explore right now. And I'm super curious how big this temple actually is. So I just had two lovely Balinese people who wanted to take a picture with me. This is the guy. And the pictures look amazing. Look, I really like them. So we have this one. They printed immediately. And this one as well. You make us see my my mask for one minute. This temple is huge and we're now climbing up. As you can see, Vishnu is already going here. He has a really heavy bag. I have also a heavy bag as well. So we're climbing up, but as you can see in the background, we are so high up at this moment. When we were driving here, it was like we were going up all the time. Now I can feel it. I'm completely out of breath, but I think it's worth it. It's already so beautiful. Very long way. Yeah. I know, very long. long Two days of traveling. Many, many tired. Yes, <laughs> true. It is so funny. Every time I try to walk for two meters, people ask me where I'm from. And then when I say Belanda, which is Holland, they always say, oh, Amsterdam. And then this really good conversation with them. I just love Balinese people so much. They have my heart forever. We are today in Besaki Temple and Echo. Maybe you still remember Echo from our West Bali trip, but that has been such a long time, right? Yeah, yeah, it's been a long time. Wow, I think that's been more than half a year. Echo is my good friend. He's a really good photographer here in Bali as well. And that's how we met. He took a lot of beautiful pictures for me. And today we met up, I think after, like I said, six months. Six months, yeah. that's been way too long. Wow. Since last time. Cam camping in, yeah, in camping. Chunyan, yeah, exactly. Chunyan. And Echo is also so in completely Balinese style. You rented it here, right? Yeah, yeah. How much was it? 40. 40K? Mm -hmm. Okay, 40K awesome. for the sarong, yeah. that and thing, this. and the hat. Oh, okay, 40K. This? Udang. 
Udung. Udang. 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 Yeah. Udang. Okay. <laughs> and then we have this one. Sarong. And the sarong. I love it. It's way longer. Like mine is too short, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is the size that it normally should be. That's good to know. <laughs> and this one praying. Oh, and this for praying? Can I see? <laughs> yeah, right. How much did you pay for it? Uh, it's all of them. Like was 40. Oh, okay. Yeah, 40K. Oh, that smells amazing. Mm -hmm. So some what is it? So flowers. we have the incense sticks mm -hmm. and then, wow. So this is Chanang Sari and the incense sticks. Wow, I love it. So two you get. Yeah. Oh no, three. Three, wow. three. Wow, I love it. You can share because yeah, there's yeah, the three yeah. of us. Oh, that is nice. <laughs> <gasps> Puppy! Oh my God! I can do the sound a little bit. What's the sound again? The sound to call a puppy. I can't do it that fast. Can I you? I think Echo can make it. Like... <laughs> oh, he can't. See, I'm not the only one. In Bali, if they call a puppy, it goes like... But I still cannot do it. Hi! Oh, the puppy is scared of me. <laughs> okay, what I just heard, and is super interesting actually, is that there are now a lot of renovations going on in this temple. And that is because this temple is located so close to Mount Agung. Mount Agung was erupted in 2017, which is not long ago at all. And a lot of these temples were actually just ash. So that's so interesting. And I'm already really impressed with how much they built up because as you can see behind me, all of these towers are already renovated. So that's super cool. And this is the red zone for Mount Agung, which I also did know. Unfortunately, it's clouded, so we can't see Mount Agung today, but that is to give you an impression of how close this temple is located to Mount Agung. I'm enjoying this view. Look who decided to join us again. How about this view? <laughs> <laughs> how are you today, girl? We are recharged. Yeah? Recharged. How was the climb up? Oh my gosh, I'm sweating bullets. <laughs> Do you see that? Yes, I got a I sweat do. stash. <laughs> I love it. The climb up is no joke. It's quite steep actually, but this is one of the best views I've seen in a while. It's yes. absolutely stunning. And we are today apparently super lucky because yeah, yesterday was the official Galungan day. Today as well, but yesterday was the bigger day. And it was raining the entire day and it was super cloudy. So as I already said, we are lucky because it's a very clear day, which is good. It's even a bit sunny. Unfortunately, we can't see Mount Agung. This is the place we're stopping right now. And on the table, you have these drinks and you can just just choose whichever drink you want and then pay after. They have water and I needed some vitamin C, so that's what I got. So the thing that's quite interesting, what I just heard, is that this Besake temple is home to 44 temples, <laughs> which is insane. That's obviously why it's called the Mother Temple and we are now all the way at the top. This is the final staircase and then I have no idea what's on top. Super curious, I hope it's worth the stairs because we are so high up. I don't think you can see it, but you can see to all the way forest we're above the clouds almost so yeah this is quite interesting what's going to be on top It started raining, all the guys ditched us, we're with three men and the two <laughs> girls are left. Here we go, I got my waterproof backpack exactly. on. Exactly, I got my rain jacket on. Guys are actually seeking shelter under the stairs, so again this shows who run the world. Girls! Girls! <laughs> Let's go to the top of the temple. Oh, we can't enter I think for prayer only. Maybe we can do it there where it's yeah. dry. Yeah, it says like, do not enter for prayer only. We are dressed like in style, but because we're not Hindu, we can go inside, which is quite unfortunate, but I think it looks quite the same. It's even a bit more higher up, but it's stunning. This temple is so beautiful. Let's just do our own offering here. So this is how a do-it-yourself offering yeah. looks like. We have three of them. We have some flowers. Oh, we don't have anything to light up. Yes, this. we do, we do, don't worry. We have some incense. Ooh, these smell amazing. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. do it yourself. Here we go. Hello. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting some help. We're trying We're so hard. We're getting help. <laughs> we have already. <laughs> okay. How do you do this? Yeah. You just put the light in. Uh -huh. So we, we come outside. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, sama-sama. 
Right, we didn't end up going inside, but we had the most magical experience with this family here. What I also learned is you come up on the left side of the stairs and you go down on the left side. That's what Vishnu just told me. So that is what I'm doing right now. so cool to see how the mist is rolling in there and then here it's already completely misty so we are finally down it was such an adventure to go all the way up and down this temple but i absolutely loved it this was such a good experience and this temple is huge i'm not surprised that they call it the mother temple of bali it is amazing and it's definitely worth a visit so if you are in east bali i would definitely recommend coming here i had the best time and if you can dress up like this because the people really appreciate and you will have a lot more smiling faces so that's really good I wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next Bali adventure